since we installed our solar system a while back, and more recently because of COVID, we haven't been using our generators much lately. And shame on me, I may have let them sit with fuel in the tanks uh, maybe a little longer than I should have. As a result, this Honda 2000 is now surging at idle. Now, I'm no small engine tech, or even close, but it's clear from doing a little research, this just might be a DIY fix. So if you're like me, a little reticent to go tearing into your generator engine, stay with me and we'll test my research. We'll need just a few tools for this procedure, a 5 16 inch socket, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a small piece of wire, carburetor cleaner, and compressed air. First we'll remove the engine cover, then the air cleaner cover, and air cleaner assembly. As we slide the carburetor off the brackets that hold it in position, we'll also slip the line to the upper right out of its bracket. Now we're getting to the meat of the problem. This little part right here is the jet and likely that jet is clogged and cleaning it will fix our problem. But to get to that, we have to remove this idle adjust screw. But don't just back it up. Tighten it and count the number of turns until it's all the way in because it will be important to reinstall it in exactly the same position that it's in now. So let's see. One, two, three, four, four and seven eighths. Make a note of that and back it all the way out so we can get to that jet. Now with a flathead screwdriver and needle nose pliers, I'm carefully prying that jet out so I can clean it. Make note of how that jet is seated as we'll need to be sure to reinstall it in the same position. It's this tiny little hole right here that is likely clogged by old fuel that collected when I didn't run the generator often enough. With that jet out, I'm cleaning it with some very small wire and some carb cleaner and blowing it out with compressed air. And right here is where I will save you some time. It's that small wire that's tricky. The best I could find, this wire needs to be about 1 one hundredth of an inch. That's like 33 gauge wire. Ever try to find 33 gauge wire? Good luck. I tried a paper clip, too big. I tried a straightened out staple, still too big. A strand of copper wire clip from 14 gauge twisted wire was too small. It went right through the hole with no resistance. Then I found a wire brush and clipped a bristle and it was just right. With the jet cleaned, we'll go ahead and reassemble. The only trick here is getting the jet seated just the way it was. The flat sides on the head of the jet will tell you how to orient that as you slide it back in the tube. Then I used a flathead screwdriver to press it down. The idle adjust screw goes in next, and if it doesn't easily fit into its space, the jet may not be seated far enough into its tube. This is where the idle adjust screw goes all the way in, then we back it out by the number of turns we noted earlier. As we slide the carburetor back onto the bolts, any lines we moved, make sure those are reseated, and any gaskets you removed, make sure those are replaced and not damaged. Replace the air filter assembly and slip the air tube back into the intake tube. Be sure to replace the bolt that goes in under the foam filter then replace the nuts on the carburetor bolts. And finally, replace the air filters and the air filter cover. And fire it up. Just listen to that baby purr. What an improvement. 
rarely do my DIY projects go this smoothly. This may be the best in recent memory. Hey, chime in to the notes below and let me know if your generator repair goes as smoothly as mine. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you think of our videos.